Chapter 5. Text sprawled across the computer the terminal screen, input is accepted. Suddenly the server room was plunged into darkness. I nothing. After what felt like an eternity, the lights flickered back on. Override authorized. It worked? Eh, system now being formatted, factory settings, please wait. Wait, format, but I Eh, yeah, system now operational. Just as she'd done many times before, I appeared in front of me. Hello. I am AI Model Everett 11037. It is a pleasure to meet you. Hi, it's me. Hello, me. It is a pleasure to meet you. No, sorry. My name is Hero. Hello. It is a pleasure to meet you. Suddenly, the captain came charging into the server room. What is happening? I formatted I. Wait. What? I had the chance, and I couldn't let it pass. The captain looked over at I, who was standing, smiling, awaiting any instruction. I could see a, wa a wash of grief run over her face. I... status report. I didn't respond. I don't think she knows her name is I anymore. The captain now she approached I, saying face to face with her. Excuse me. Hello. It is a pleasure to meet you. Model number, please. AI Model Everett 11037. From now on, you will be called I. Please respond to this name. Are you the captain? I am only able to take such directive from the captain. Yes. I am Captain Yukimori, second generation captain of the Everett. Very well, Captain. My name is I. It is a pleasure to meet you. I caught a glimpse of a small side smirk from the captain before she continued. I, do you know who Dai is? I am unfamiliar with this person. I, do you have any directive to delete crew members? I do not. I have no directive other than follow the captain's orders. Is that your order? Oh, heavens no. Very well. I will not delete crew members. Let's not be hasty here. I bowed and smiled so sweetly, as if completely oblivious to how close to home that last comment I? was for us. Please run system analytics and give me a full report on your operations. You are dismissed. Yes, Captain. I bowed and disappeared from the server room. The Captain turned to face me. You did it. You saved us all. No, I... We all owe you our lives. I'm just sorry I didn't save us sooner. The captain smiled warmly at my response. I am almost unsure what to do now. Suddenly Beatrix burst into the server room. Are you okay? Beatrix stopped instantly as she saw the captain stand beside me. Captain? Beatrix? Well, I need to help I with some foundational information, if you will excuse me. The captain left the server room, leaving Beatrix and I alone. What's happening? The lights all cut off and... I formatted I. It's over. Wait. What? All of it. No more dying, no more deletion game. We are... saved? We are free? I saw the realization sweep over Beatrix's face. Suddenly she leapt towards me, pulling me tightly into an embrace. You did it. I knew you would. Thanks, Beatrix. I knew it was a good thing that Nicholas and I didn't end up killing you. Indeed. I guess I should thank you then? No, but the rest of the crew should. Works for me. Beatrix pulled out of the embrace, smiling playfully. I can't wait to tell Nicholas! Beatrix started making her way to the server room exit. I put my hand down and grabbed onto Beatrix's arm. Wait. Beatrix looked at me with confusion. What? We've been facing death every day. Uh-huh. Beatrix's left eyebrow raised. And I should have said this before now, but better late than never, right? Say what? Beatrix, I love you. Beatrix looked more confused than she did before. I've loved you since the first, since I first laid eyes on you. Since I first ran my hands through your golden locks that first day. Sailor, I'm flattered. But... But? I hate to break it to you, but you aren't really my type. Oh... Nothing personality-wise. I enjoy you immensely, but I also love... well... Beatrix pointed at herself, exaggerating her hands over her curves. 
yourself? Well, yes, but I was more trying to imply the womanly form. Wait. That's right, Sailor. We bat for the same team, so to speak. I misread the situation, then. Don't feel bad. Everyone wants a piece of this. But I am impressed that you had the balls to say so. Well, regardless, I still have feet. Beatrix placed her finger across my lips. And I will always love you, friend. One month later. <laughs> ah, Sailor, they are perfect! So now that I think about it, Nicholas didn't have a CG for his, did he? Thanks, Beatrix. The secret is the addition of brown sugar. Shall we try some? Certainly. I took a bite of our freshly baked chocolate chip biscuits. They were warm and gooey and every bit as perfect as a biscuit could be. Beatrix looked is equally impressed. Oh, Sailor, will you marry me? I already tried, remember? We both laughed heartily. Never thought that being rejected by Beatrix would bring us closer. Honestly, your future partner will be a very lucky woman. And now with Die dead, per se, you have a lifetime to find her. My options are pretty limited. Oh, did I dream about your research and the pocket watch? Beatrix nudged me playfully. She was right, and though I was no longer in the picture and my parents' research, now mine, was uninterrupted, I had my entire lifetime to find my happily ever after. These biscuits were a good start. And there you go. So that is the Just Friends round for Beatrix. Not as painful as some of the other ones.